Hey everyone, for your glockenspiel lesson today, I am very excited because we're moving on to a different technique. The past couple weeks we have been doing alternating hands. Today our hands will be working together to play an ostinato for the song Nanny Goat. We will hear the song first, then we will go over the glockenspiel part, and finally we will put everything together. I can't wait to learn this with you. Nanny Goat is a song that I learned a couple of years ago, and now I use it a lot with my second graders as a movement activity and a song to practice our pitches. This movement activity should become pretty clear to you once you start hearing the lyrics. So if you would like, feel free to move around the room while you listen, or you can just sing along. But we do need to know the song first before we add in the instrument part. The song Nanny Goat sounds like this. I go hop on one foot, nanny goat, nanny goat, hop on one foot, nanny goat, do hop on two feet, nanny goat, nanny goat, hop on two feet, nanny goat, do hop on three feet, nanny goat, nanny goat, hop on three feet, nanny goat, do hop on four feet, nanny goat. Nanny goat, hop on four feet, nanny goat, do. So think about that. Hopping on one foot, hopping on two feet, that makes sense. But how could you hop on three feet and how could you hop on four feet? I'm going to sing the song one more time and then we're going to start to look at the glockenspiel part. Remember, we're going to be using both hands at the same time to accompany this song. Bum, 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 here I go, hop on one foot, nanny goat, nanny goat, hop on one foot, nanny goat, do, hop on two feet, nanny goat, nanny goat, hop on two feet, nanny goat, do, hop on three feet, nanny goat, nanny goat, hop on three feet, nanny goat, do, hop on four Nanny goat, nanny goat, hop on four feet, nanny goat, do. Hey guys, next up we're going to take a look at the glockenspiel part. And this whole time you're going to see the part color coded written down below so that you have something to follow along to. I'm going to break it down so that we go through one hand at a time and then we'll add both together before we put it with the song. Starting with your left hand. And your left hand, if you notice, it matches the bottom color of our color-coded notation. So it's all yellow, which means it's all going to be the note E. And it will sound like this. Here we go. E, E, E. Take a break. E, E, E. Take a break. E, E, E. Take a break one more time. E, E, E. Excellent work. Switch hands. Now, looking at the top notation, you're seeing that your right hand is going to actually alternate between colors. It will alternate between purple, B, and red, C, the short C, the higher pitched C, not the longer, lower pitched C. So your right hand sounds like this. Here. We go. B, C, B, take a break. B, C, B, take a break. B, C, B, take a break. B, C, B, then you're done. So now before you see the close up, let's try adding both hands together. Pinch, wrap, funky chicken, float above your E and your B to start. Your E stays there, your B alternates, but make sure at the beginning of every pattern you're always starting on your B. One, two, here we go. Take a break.
take a break. One more time. Nice work. Here's what it sounds like with the song. Play and try to sing along with me and then you'll get a close up next. Float, one, two, here we go. Hop on one foot, nanny goat, nanny goat. Hop on one foot, nanny goat, do. Hop on two feet, nanny goat, nanny goat. Hop on two feet, nanny goat, do. Let's take a closer look. One, two, here we go. Three more times. Two more times. One more time. Nice work. Now let's hear it with the song. We're going to sing one foot and two feet, and then we will stop after two feet. One, two, here we go. Hop on one foot, nanny goat, nanny goat. Hop on one foot, nanny goat, do. Hop on two feet, nanny goat, nanny goat. Hop on two feet, nanny goat, do. Very nice. I'm going to break it down one hand at a time, and then we'll do it one more time with both hands together. Again, your left hand is just playing E. Your right hand is alternating between B and C, always starting on B. So together, it sounds like this. Then add your left hand. Then add your voice. Hop on one foot, nanny goat, nanny goat. Hop on one foot, nanny goat, do. Hop on two feet, nanny goat, nanny goat. Hop on two feet, nanny goat, do. Excellent work, everyone. Great work this week, everyone. Next week, we're going to continue with that simultaneous both hand technique. And we also might start looking at some crossover patterns. Happy practicing and be sure to share your work with us on social media. See you next time.